In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called calculating the pH of a strong base solution. In this problem, you're going to be given an amount of a strong base. My problem is um, using KOH as the strong base, and you're also going to be given a volume of solution, and then you're asked to calculate the pH of the solution. The first thing that you should do, even though it might feel like it's a little bit unnecessary, um, the first thing you should do is write a balanced chemical equation showing the dissociation of your strong base. KOH dissociates into K plus ions and OH minus ions. And it's the OH minus ions, the hydroxide ions, that is what dictates the pH of the solution. So this is actually what I need to figure out in this problem. Now, like I said, this might feel like it's an unnecessary first step. However, it is possible that Alex might give you a strong base such as barium hydroxide, which dissociates into two hydroxide ions instead of just one. And that's going to be, you know, a really important thing to know when you're doing these calculations. You need to know how many hydroxide ions are being produced during the dissociation. You could, if you wanted to, make an ice table to show this dissociation. Uh, and I know I'll kind of set it up for that, but the ice table is probably going to be a little bit tedious, not necessarily something that you need to do. The, PO, uh, the pH of the solution we're actually going to get initially by calculating the pOH of the solution, which is going to come from the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. So that's why we need to know this hydroxide concentration. And then once we know the pOH of the solution, we're going to use the relationship pH plus pOH equals 14, and that will ultimately get us the pH. So what we need to know um, first is the concentration of the OH minus ion. We need to know this in units of molarity, like what's the molarity of our OH minus. And we're going to get that by initially uh, calculating the molarity of the KOH solution. The molarity of the KOH solution is going to come from the moles of the KOH solution per total liter of solution. The moles of the KOH will calculate by taking the mass of KOH. I have 793 milligrams, which is equal to 0.793 grams. And then I'm going to do a gram to mole conversion on my KOH using the molecular weight of KOH. Now you should definitely do this, you know, using calculate molecular weight using Alex's calculator. Um, but I'm just, you know, doing it quickly should always use Alex's calculator to calculate molecular weights because it is a little bit picky about molecular weights. 0.793 divided by 56 gives me um, 0.0142 moles of KOH. And then that's going to go up here in my molarity calculation, 0.0142 moles. I need to divide that by my volume of solution in units of liters. My solution is 130 milliliters, which is 0 0.130 liters. So I'm going to divide my moles by 0 0.13, and that gives me a molarity of 0 0.109. And like I said, if you wanted to do this with an ice table, you absolutely could. Um, 0 0.109 molar, that's our initial amount of, of the KOH. Because it's a strong base, all of that is going to dissociate. And at the very end, what we're going to be left with is 0 0.109 molar OH. You could also just recognize that this is a one-to-one -one ratio. So whatever the molarity is of the KOH, that's also going to be the molarity of the OH minus. This, though, you got to be careful. This is not going to be true if you have something like barium hydroxide where there are two OH groups. That's when a balanced equation is going to come in handy. So once we know our OH minus concentration, we're going to plug it into this pH equation down here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get a different color. I'm going to do this over here. The pOH is the negative log of our OH minus concentration, 0 0.109. And for that, I get 0.96. And then once we know the pOH, we're going to plug it into this equation right here to calculate pH, which I'll do that in another different color. The pH is going to be 14 minus the pOH, uh, which will be 
13.04. Oh, Alex wants this to three decimal places. I didn't, I didn't carry my math out enough to three decimal places. So I only have 13.04. I'm definitely not going to enter that into Alex. I'm going to go back and redo my math and get an extra decimal place out here. But this is how you will solve this problem.